this is how to actually install the aftermarket amplifier to your factory radio in, in two minutes. This right here is a line output converter. Now its job is to transfer that high level signal from the speaker that we're tapping into and provide a low level signal so we can send it to the amplifier. On this you're going to see us a couple of different wires. We got two browns and we usually just but connect those now this is going to be a ground to where if you receive any type of noise you can ground this out i nine times out of ten don't even use this next we're going to have four speaker wires two whites and two grays one will be a solid color and one will have the black stripe the solid color will go to the positive side of the speaker that we're tapping into the one with the black stripe goes to the negative side if you're tapping off a pair of speakers this is going to go to the driver side and the grays are going to go to the passenger side you need to understand that what we put into this is what we're going to get out of this so since we're hooking up a sub amplifier we want to find some type of low frequencies so that means we're either going to tap into a full range speaker or a mid woofer or if this has a factory sub that's going to be the most ideal spot to install this to now if your factory sub is a dual voice coil sub which means it has two sets of positive and negatives then you would take the two whites and go to coil one and take the two grays and go to coil two if you have a single voice coil sub, then it is okay to take the two positives, twist them together and go to the positives, and then take the two negatives, twist those together and go to the negative. Now we want to tap into our factory sub. I am working on 2014 Acura ILX. We do have the factory sub right here in the back. So get your wire strippers and strip the wire back. Even if you do have the wire diagram, it is always best to go ahead and test to make sure that you're in the proper polarity. So I have my tester right here and we're just going to pop this speaker. Now that we know that it's moving outward, we know that our green is positive and our red is negative. And we have our white going on that positive, which is green black which is negative going on that red if you guys need any type of diagrams i do provide that type of information for my patreons that link will also be in the description see i have individually electrical taped the connections and i threw a zip tie on there to make sure that they're secure right here we have our two negatives but connected to the negative we have our two positives but connected to the positive i'm going to finish tessa taping this up to here Put that LOC behind this panel, hook our RCA up to this end, and then run it over here to our amp. I did run it all the way down this part right here to where it comes out here and straight to the RCA side of my amplifier. Now, you will need to go ahead and run your own power and ground. I'm not actually going over that in this video. I like to use a factory bolt for my grounds, but I have everything zip tied going along here, going straight to the amp. Make sure you have good solid connections on your power, your remote wire, and your ground, and then that's gonna be about it.